All right, here we go. I would say I wanted to start acting when I was about 11. I loved movies. I just, I loved there was this, this medium that you could just get immediately sucked into. I just scooted up when I leaned against the wall. Hello, my name is Yusai. Welcome to the shoot for Esquire magazine. Here we go, people, let's go! What are we up to here? This is a special issue. For Esquire to put six men on the cover, it's really, really rare. Six very different actors, but every single one of them have their own quality, and I'm excited to be here to shoot this amazing three-cover issue featuring the next generations of Hollywood leading men. I hate it! I hate it! All right, here we go. This concept nice. came about, we really wanted to find Six very different actors, but every single one of them embody a, an interesting men's fashion point of view as well. It's going to be an adventure to get to know each one of them. I'm an East Londoner. I'm actually a Cockney, someone that was born within the three mile radius of the Bow Bells. That's me. I think I first realized I wanted to be an actor when I was a small child. Just been kind of fighting for it ever since. I actually moved out to Los Angeles from Phoenix. I always envied people on the screen. I didn't think when I was six I wanted to be an actor. It was just an activity, I guess, that I did outside of school. And it was just something I had a passion for and I really loved and enjoyed and, and still do. So I'm lucky that it's kind of progressed into something that is, uh, is a career, I guess. I can walk down the street and it's nice so I'm, I'm not really recognizable. So. I got into acting because I love it. I've always wanted to know more about it and experience it. And if you're gonna do something, you gotta start from uh, zero. And I, I moved to New York, started there. I moved to LA when I was 17 years old. Graduated high school a little early and just ran off. I kind of wanted to be a, an actor by the time I was about 12, 14. I think I'm an artist, a full-rounded artist. That's what I love, you know, is art. Acting is the, the most successful part of my art at the moment and I aspire to be sort of like a, a well-rounded producer, director. When I was 11, I had a very vivid dream that I was an actor. And, uh, and I woke up the next morning and I just I sat down with my parents and I just said, I think I'm supposed to be an actor. And they both started laughing at me, but uh, I proved them wrong. Action! First acting gig was, I think, John Tucker in the Sky. Which is brilliant. My first role in a film was when I was 10. It was called Tom and Thomas. I did my first one back in 86, uh, for the Loon, when I was four. My first acting gig was a uh, Kellogg's Corn Pops commercial. You can find it on YouTube. I haven't eaten Corn Pops since. I play a waiter who you literally see from here down. I walk up to the table and I go, would you guys like anything else? And they go, no. Okay. And that was, that was, uh, got me my SAG card. When I was in London, I was like one of 10 actors that were going up for the same role. So, you know, the odds were good. I got lucky very early. It didn't really happen for me right away. It's a good struggle, and I'm happy to have the struggle. You know, I think I appreciate it a little more. If you're broke, your car won't start, whatever it is, if you put on a movie, and it's a good movie, you can get sucked into that universe very quickly. Actually, to be honest, I just woke up and I wanted to be in movies and be famous and do, like, you know, celebrity stuff. When we'd sit, like, cross-legged on the, on the carpet watching TV, you know, we only had, like, three channels, but you're so glued to the television. I always just kind of want to be that person you're glued to. That's beautiful. They're incredible actors. All these guys have every right to be on the cover, and I'm just honored and pleased to be here to capture this crazy circus that we created. And we're done.